Zen's mowers. On today's video, this is a mow with me vlog. We are mowing with this 2015 Toro Model 20353 personal pace all wheel drive mower. I will show you that this is a 2015. I'm also posting the model information in the description if you guys want to go read it after the video. On the side of this gas tank, and Briggs and Stratton likes to do this, so if you ever go to buy a used mower, you can see that this is a 2015. They tell you the model here on the side of the tank. If you ever go to buy a used mower, just remember that, especially if it has an engine like this. I'm going to go over the features of this mower. Of course, I said it had the all-wheel drive system. You still have to adjust the wheels at all each wheel, but that's I guess it's not a big hassle. Just make sure they're level. This is a Briggs and Stratton seven and a quarter horsepower overhead valve engine, 163 cc. I love these engines, they run pretty good. They start normally first few pulls. This is a uh, 22 inch platform or deck, whatever you call it. I do have my mulch block open because we are going to bag. If I didn't want to bag and wanted to take the bag off, I just close this lever, but put it down there because we're going to use it, the bag. Now I am using a used bag on this mower because the when I bought this mower, I had the intent to resell it eventually. And they gave me this bag, which this bag is the original bag. And I got the manual and the side chute that they also never use. They never use this bag either. And when I want to resell this mower, when I go to resell this mower, I don't want to sell it with that bag being dirty. But anyway, I think without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get cutting. This is like my test cutting area. I'm going to mow a few stripes over here. I've kind of already been doing some mowing. make this look a little better. segment but I messed it up so I just kept cutting but anyway I'm trying to make this a good video I love how these Toros have these nice stripes just going to double back up here that way I don't have to run back up the yard I got to move the chairs and the grill and whatnot. By the way, we did get a new girl this year, too. Make sure we're lining up in here. Always make sure you're hugging that line, staying over it. Give it just by a little bit. If you want nice stripes like this? Try to make the nicer stripes that I really don't like 
like the thin stripes as much. Alright, back up a little bit. Straight this out. My lines might be a little crooked because I do have to hold a camera. back on here once I get all that stuff moved. Alright, I just wanted to get away from that table because that was a more challenging area to cut and I wanted my full focus towards it too. Anyway, I'm going to straighten these lines up over here while I try to stay on course. I'm going to have to empty this bag again too. I try to empty my bag every few rows. That way I'm not dumping grass in the yard. It is going to get a little bumpy around here, so just be mindful. That's looking real nice. Always take pride in your yard. Taking this shed down too soon. I'm gonna try and put a video up if I can. Anyway, I think we're gonna wrap this up here. So I just wanted to show you guys the aftermath of what we did. I love this Toro all-wheel drive mower. These are pretty reliable. I wanted to buy a 2021 all-wheel drive, but with all the used mowers I get, I, the good used mowers that is, I figure I'd just cut my yard with one of those before I sell it. Anyway, I love how these stripes are. I'm going to have to weed eat and stuff. but And I could have probably done better, but I did have to hold a camera. Because I don't have a camera guy right now. Just going to show off this niceness. Man, I love these stripes. I'm going to take you guys around. I do have some more video ideas coming up. Which I'm going to show you a possible sneak peek in, in the outro segment. But anyway, I'm just showing you the rest of this cutting job couldn't finish cutting over there because of my neighbor's vehicle but that is what it is and this front yard looks real nice 
trying to make sure it all stays in good order yeah anyway like comment subscribe please stay tuned for the outro segment because i got something real special for you guys have a good day all right guys i'm gonna show you all what i'm talking about it's eight and a half horse briggs and stratton power washer engine it's got a short shaft out back of the shed got this 20 inch hyper tough deck i bought motor was pretty screwed on this deck and i'll show you the blade here in a minute anyway i got a brand new blade in my bedroom i got a brand new blade adapter and a brand new 20 inch blade for this thing we're gonna make this thing look nice anyway let me show you all that screwed up blade and why i got that hyper tough mower y'all are gonna know that this motor's garbage the motor that was on it anyway yeah that thing was pretty beat guess they must have hit something with it but anyway, we're going to make it a nice 8.5 horse side discharge mower, guys. Just stay tuned.